It's Easter time, guys. I'm here to talk to you about an Easter table setting theme. Why am I sharing this with you? Well, we are not Christian, we're Jews, so we do Passover in our household, but we also happen to have a daughter named Bunny. So today's table setting is a bunny-themed Easter table for you that is very similar to tables I've set before, like when my daughter was first born, and I ordered and baked a bunny rabbit-shaped cake for her arrival. There she is. There's Bunny. <laughs> okay, so in honor of Easter, which I know many of you will be celebrating in your families, I am dressed like an Easter peep and I'm ready to set my table for you. If you happen to celebrate Passover, I will have a Passover video for you over on Little Kosher Lunch and I will link it up up above so you can hop over there and see a different table setting on the very exact same table and you can see what I'm doing with very limited supplies. So today's table setting is all about bunnies and it's all about beautiful eggs. What I like to do is I like to source my items at the thrift store, which is where most all of my linens came from. I have bunny rabbit themed napkin rings, which are um, thematic for the holiday or for my daughter, um, but very easy to store because they're very small. And pink linens, again, you know, I just love pink, so we use pink linens all the time in our house. So we store these in our linen cupboard, and the bunny rabbit cake mold is a will cake mold and I will link it down below for you they make many different kinds but this is the standing bunny rabbit I am gonna set the table for you and my last tip for a successful Easter or rabbit themed table is to source your decorations from nature a lot of people you know go out and buy decorations that you then have to store so stick around till the end and I'm going to finish my table with some natural items that are either consumable or compost Let's get started setting the table. Okay, so now that the table is set, I wanted to talk to you about the simple, simple way that you can come up with a centerpiece for your Easter table that is natural, consumable, or compostable, so you don't have anything to store from year to year. I did a video about natural flower arrangements that cost you nothing, clippings from spring buds on our trees. This is some fig branches blooming jasmine that smells so amazing, you guys. Climbing roses, these are the Cecil Brunner little pink climbing rose and a little yellow climbing rose, I don't know its name. And I have some citrus blossoms. So if you live in Florida or California where you have citrus trees available, look for the blossoms this time of year. They will smell so fragrant on your table. Then, I don't know if you know any chicken keeping people, but we used to keep chickens and we have neighbors who keep chickens. But if you don't have access to chickens, you have access to the markets and the farmer's markets. And I went and I bought beautiful eggs today. These came from Gelson's here in Los Angeles. These are fancy eggs and they come in all the different colors. So these are Aracana eggs. These are those chocolate eggs and then some like beige and light brown. I am going to just fill a basket with these eggs. I can supplement with my white eggs. You could just buy one of these. These are expensive. They're like $6 for six eggs. So you know, but the beauty of this is that this is not something that is plastic. It's not something that's gonna be thrown away. It's even something that could be sent home with your guests at the end of your Easter celebration that is healthy, beautiful, and natural. So it makes a really beautiful party favor as well. So I'm gonna quickly assemble this and show you what it looks like, and we'll go from there. basket is to give you a sense that the most beautiful chicken in the world has just laid the most beautiful natural nest full of blossoms or maybe it was a bunny rabbit that laid these but whatever it is this is something that I did spending a little bit of money on eggs or you could spend less and use your own chicken eggs if you happen to be a chicken keeping person I have been known to sometimes put a foil wrapped chocolate egg or a golden egg in with a beautiful egg arrangement like this some other ideas to share with you that are inexpensive, consumable, easy to pull off ideas is to use that bunny rabbit cake as your centerpiece. That makes a really
really beautiful display and it is a practical centerpiece that your guests will definitely admire. I always love to serve deviled eggs at almost any holiday, so I would highly suggest that you consider beautiful deviled eggs for your Easter table. You could also pick up inexpensive or secondhand egg cups. Here are a few vintage ones that I have that my children really cherish. You could do soft boiled eggs for your guests. If you're expecting children, another wonderful craft that I suggest is a bag of cotton balls and you can set out construction paper bunny rabbits, let those kids make them all furry and soft. And as you can see, this bag I only spent 80 cents on. My goal for you is to help you have a really easy and relaxed Easter. I know most of America is gonna be celebrating it even if you're not a religious person. And I, because I have a baby bunny, love this theme as well and I love springtime. I want you to do things that are not gonna chunk up the earth or waste a lot of your dollars. So I hope this was a budget friendly idea that you enjoy. If yes, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and the notification bell, and please share this video with a friend if you think it's something that someone else would enjoy. Take care and have a very happy holiday.